I'm Edie from Evolve, and today we're going to talk about automating your activities relating to pipelines and also creating follow up activities via automation. As you can see here, we're creating a follow up activity after we've manually marked a previous activity complete. And now we're manually moving the deal along the pipeline. So let's see how we can automate this whole process. Navigate to the workflow automation page and select add custom workflow. Give it a name and start. So now you need to establish the trigger. In this case, the activity has been updated. And now we need to provide a condition. So the activity current pipeline is sales pipeline. and apply your conditions. We now need to add another set of conditions regarding the activity itself. So in this case, we need to establish what type of activity we are completing. And then finally, the status of the activity. Instead of using is, we would use has changed to in this scenario, and it would be done. Apply the conditions. Now you're ready to set up the action. In this case, we want the deal to be updated. We need to select what we're updating, which is the pipeline stage. Confirm what deal we are updating and where we're putting the deal after the automation has been complete. So now we've built our first stages of our automation. Let's test it. As you can see, the activity has been marked as complete. And as by default, Pipedrive has prompted me to set a follow-up activity. However, our deal has now moved forward in the pipeline to meeting had. You can take this one step further by adding another step to your automation. In this instance, we know that we're always going to conduct a follow-up a week after if we've not had the meeting or if we'd like to follow up in general. So select action, activity, create activity. Select the information you need the activity to be applied to. So the deal, the organization, and the people you're contacting and who you're assigning this activity to. And if there is a specific time. Now fill in the information. You can use merge fields from the activity itself, or you can simply type it in your, the activity subject. You must select a type. You can use the options that Pipedrive provide for how long in advance this activity will be set for. Choose a time. Who will complete the activity? In this case, you could use the activity assigned user or creator. And now a follow up activity will be automatically created once we've hit our trigger. So let's test this out.
I've now marked my activity as complete. It's automatically asked me to set one. However, I can click out. My deal has moved and my activity is set for a week time.